Ah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the urgent video about the biggest paradox question that actually exists. <laughs> the most research shh, the most research questions but nobody ever asking it. Happen to be that the most natural universal need like peeing or taking a shit has become a taboo. Uh, people are afraid to ask how to actually do it during the coming of the Santiago or any other long hike. So in today's episode we're gonna go beyond any prejudice and explain how to do number one and number two for men and women on the Camino de Santiago having in mind ecological impact uh, as well as the health and safety of any other fellow pilgrims. So let's start. Yeah. So there are two possible scenarios. The first one is that you're walking in the nature and you feel this little urgency. And the second one that you're actually walking in the middle of the town, city or little village and you have the same unexpected situation. As you know, there are two common realities on the Camino, which passes through different landscapes. So you could be in the middle of the populated area, like bigger cities, Burgos, Leon, Pamplona, you name it. Or you can rather be in the place when there is absolutely nobody. The situation is quite easy if you're in the big city, if you can go to the restaurant, to the bar, or actually even ask a villager, a local person, to go and use his bathroom. But if you're in the middle of the nature, the thing can get a bit more complicated. Huh. So one thing to actually mention is that if you decide to go to the bar, to the restaurant, the bar owners ask for the minimal consumptions. So get yourself a sweet or a coffee and then do what you have to do. And now the second scenario, something that only 100 years before seems absolutely natural and common, like taking a poop or just being in the nature, today seems uncivilized, today seems just odd and shameful sometimes. But in matter of a fact, a squatting when doing the toilet is most body design friendly than rather sitting on a toilet seat. Ask any doctor, doctor, doctor. Find yourself a good spot. In Europe, there is no little big issue with spiders, uh, scorpions or snakes, like here in India. And actually, I'm getting beaten by thousands of ants just for the sake of this video. So if you want to subscribe, if you see the effort that I do, subscribe and comment down below what is your way of making the poop. Anyways, so don't worry about snakes and spiders and scorpions because in Europe it's not gonna happen. At least I hope. So once you encountered a good spot, once you relaxed, once you did whatever ever had to be done, what to do with this? And this is actually the main objective of this video, the ecological impact that we pilgrims have on Camino de Santiago. And whatever things you use, you could be a paper, it could be a sanitary pads, Tampax, or could be a, mm, wet wipes, whichever product you use, please place it into the bag that you can dispose in first encounter bin. Be ecological friendly, my friend. Excuse me, but I don't think that the toilet paper is not friendly, ecological friendly. I think that you can leave it anywhere you like because the toilet paper will resolve and dissolve with the water. It might be the case. However, I have to tell you, numbers of Camino de Santiago are much, much different. More than 200,000 people did it last year. That means if only one quarter of those pilgrims will find the same spot as you to have it, to take a shit, that means that more than 20,000 people will leave this toilet paper in the same spot. Smelly business. And now, uh, 
and now few common sense my common sense points the first one avoid the private places because you know nobody likes to find the shit on his doorstep in the morning whenever he goes out of his home that's the first one and the second one most importantly there is something that i got really surprised with uh -uh. it's not the pen it's umbrella umbrella is a recent discovery that we did with erica while we were traveling here in in the north of india doing the salt satyagraha one of the Caminos here that took 400 kilometers in 24 days and making poop or peeing in public in India especially for ladies can be quite challenging just cultural stuff so what we figure out we take a long umbrella we put it on the floor in every place we would like to do whatever we would like to do and then simply squat damage done finished you wake you stand up you use it for the rain and surprise surprise you can use it as well for the sun because in Camino de Santiago you need some shade especially in the summer seasons so there would be another of those points that we've unfolded for you and uh, hopefully you're not going to have a sleepless night because of the pee or poo. This was not to uh, offend anyone's emotion, anyone's feeling. This was an absolutely different purpose of the video. It's actually to give you enough idea to be concentrated on different things like inner search, like inner peace, like self-discovery, because this for me it's what Camino de Santiago is. And if you like to know more about those things, if you like to talk more about what's inside, shortly I will open the membership option that you can find uh, how to prepare yourself internally for Camino de Santiago, a few meditations as well, and all other really rare videos. But for now, please subscribe, first of all. And as well, if you feel generous, you can invite me for Camino Coffee, there's a buy me a coffee link just down then below. Uh, and that's how you can support my work. Hmm. If you want to know more about the shoes, there will be one video here and some gear for Camino Santiago as well. And you know what? Decision is yours, the choice is yours. And I wish you all the best. Just be happy. Hakuna Matata. Mm -hmm.